What's up, man? What's going on? Oh, it's my inch in the hey, mi casa es su casa, right? Let me on in, let me on in, man. Let me on in, man. Let me on in, man. It's your boy Jay and Gabby. Gabby over here, Kalo K, you know, my wow, wow, wow. We're here on the street, Malden, Massachusetts, La Tienda. We're in the right place at the right time with the right people. You know that. Come through, come through. My man had to come through and support. You know what I'm saying? Show you a little bit about what we got going on over here. La Tienda Shop on all platforms. We're on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter everything. Snapchat, you name it. www.latienda.com and the link in the bio. Tap in. Like, subscribe, comment, all that. Yeah, just to tell you a little bit, you know, we got a lot of going on over here in the, in the shoe side of things. You know, we also got the clothes and the drip mm -hmm. all the way down to arcades. Custom rugs. We just took the Key Master out, but fridges. there's another one. We got normal GRs like Lightning 4s, mm -hmm. you know, all the way down to... J Balvin, first Latino to ever make a Jordan with Jordan Brand. Legend, legend Crazy and all, like all, all around. We got Sakai's not even come out yet. The Fragments, the Fragment release, blue and grays. Mm -hmm. Keep coming down. We got a little bit more stuff over here. You know, we got the skeletons, Halloween time. We got the white and the orange. Orange. We need the blacks, though. The black. Blacks can come in soon. Fire. All the way down to an LV bag by Off-White Virgil. You it was, know, it was actually that. in the ICA exhibit as well. Got the ICA. Got the ICAs right here. Mm -hmm. The Air Forces. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out. Shout out to my girl. These are hers. <laughs> <laughs> The yellows, the blues is fire too. Those is cool. What else we got? We got the trophy rooms. Trophy we got rooms. All chrome hats just in stock. We just came back from Miami with it. Come check us out. Come check us yeah, out. We just reloaded. Closer. All the way down to the lots. Got a whole bunch of lots on, in stock right now. Pretty much we got everything you need in this store. <laughs> everything. If you guys want to take a nice trip over here to the clothing side of things with us, you gotta, yo, go put that Drake back on there real quick. Ooh. Put the Drake back on there. Certified lover boy status over here. Chrome Hearts. Got the Drake Chrome Hearts. Ex black and white. Exclusively only dropped in Miami. You know, Drake has fans all around the world. So this is a super limited piece. We got all types of rare pieces of V-Long, Chrome Hearts. We got a Miri. We got a North Face Gucci jacket. Bape, Blue Vuitton. All types of things. Matty Boys. RGB. Tell them a little bit about the RGB Freight. How do you RGB get those? Is, um... Futures actually photographer made a, a small brand turned into what it is today. It's super big. Everybody wears it right now. We got Essentials. We got Warren Lotus. Supreme. Benny the Butcher. We, we got, got Pop things. Smoke merch. We just, you know, we just renovated this over. We did, actually did a 20% sale for our customers the last mm -hmm. couple of weeks. We just wanted to, you know, give back to the community a little bit as much as we can. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of new uh, merch that we just ordered coming in. All new selection of Bape, Antisocial, many other God, things. Man. Yo, y'all are doing y'all goddamn thing in here, man. <laughs> Bro, yo, y'all just heard everything that they got going on, man. Can I grab one of these no homo, man? man? Look, man, look. <laughs> so y'all heard right everything that they just got going on, man. It's a lot going on in here. They got everything for you. Uh, they even got other ones been on there. Shout out my homegirl, Leah. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely a Come lot donate. of hometown love in here. Sure. But we definitely going to get these fellas stories on this couch right here real quick, man. You know, it's the Museum TV. It's your boy, Noble. That's how we doing it, man. We're inside La Tienda in, in Malden, 45 Lebanon Street, man. They told you all that. Make sure you follow my guys, man. They just gave you the tour once again. Let's get this story, Nothing man. Nothing but love for my man. Let's get this Appreciate story, Appreciate that, man. bro. Uh, inch by Inch TV. You know what I'm saying? Look, Building. look. Next to me right now, these fellas are saying Inch by Inch TV, we the museum TV. We are, you know what I'm saying, distributing and telling these culture stories inch by inch. As you know, my name is Noble. I am the creator of Museum TV. You know that I'm also into embroidery as well. I do embroidery work as well as tinting work. So if you need any of that, definitely holler at me. But that's neither here or there. Before we get into this story right here, I do need y'all to leave a like on this video, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel as well. We definitely need all of that love. You know what I'm saying? It's right there. It's free. You know what I'm saying? We're not asking for too much. You know what I'm saying? It definitely goes a long way for us, for our state, and for all of our creators too. But getting into the story today, I am at 45 Lebanon Street in Malden, Massachusetts. Right next to me, I got the owners of the beautiful store, La Tienda. You know what I'm saying? 
I hit that right, right? La yeah, tienda. La I hit that right. La trying to get tienda. my, uh huh, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my Espanol on, you know what I'm saying? Don't play with me. For people that don't know, that means the store in English. <laughs> word, word. It's a fact. Word, no. <laughs> no, no, it is an actual fact. It's an actual fact. It's my funny dog. No. Yo, could y'all please actually um, introduce yourselves? But that was great, bro. Yeah, um, I'm Jay. Government. Nah, Jay. <laughs> it's Gabby. It's Gabby, man. So, what what do each of y'all do? Um, you know, for the store. Obviously, I know y'all the head honchos, but you know, like on the day to day, like what what are y'all up on? Day to day work is fun. Um, we're always uh, looking for new deals, um, new pieces to introduce into the store. Okay. Um, new things to provide into the environment of Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, let's take a quick step back though, because I feel like if somebody's just watching, they're not hip to y'all. They're mm -hmm. gonna be like. You know what I'm saying? So what what is the store? What exactly do y'all got going on in here? I, I know we just gave them the tour, but like mm -hmm. in your own words, like what would you call like the store? Like would you call it like a sneaker consignment shop? But like I, I don't want to put it in no box. You feel me? So that's that's a great question that you asked because when we were even thinking about the name of the store, we wanted it to be universal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like it being La Tienda, meaning the store in English, mm -hmm. there's no end. It's kind of like infinity. You know what I mean? Okay. So like the brand That's can dope. the brand can branch off to many other things in the future. You you know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily mean sneakers. It's more than just sneakers. You know what I mean? Who knows? We might be selling luxury freaking Rolexes in the no, future. No, no. You don't I, know. I, you know I what I'm saying? That. So like that's why the, the luxury beauty watch of it. hustle is low key. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The luxury watch hustle is there. It could a be fact. a supermarket. La Tienda sounds even like a supermarket. It you, could, know, you know it what I'm saying? Could. So that's you just trendy. you don't know. You know. So okay, that's so y'all be able to pivot in any which way almost. Yeah. I honestly would say the same thing with the museum, cause like in my head I'm like, you know, I want to tell these stories, but there's all types of museums. There's candy museums, sex yeah. museums, you know what I'm saying? Like fashion museums, all types of shit. So it doesn't limit it. It doesn't limit you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So nah, I, I I fuck with that. I fuck with that. So um, now that we do know what the store is. You know what I'm saying? So what do each of y'all do exactly like for the store? And, and you know what I'm saying? I, I know you just said that, you know, you, you kind of do uh, the buying and all that, you know, right? Jay, um, are, do you basically do the same thing yeah, as well? So, I mean, in terms of like me and him operate together on the day to day. Mm -hmm. We, you know, like we have Danny and a few other people who run the floor when we're not here. But day to day, we're usually running around to other shops, you know, providing to, you know, other stores, you know, bulk selling and going all around and getting our name out kind of on the outside of the store that's kind of what how we move mm. so in terms of that that's what we do day to day but we do come check up on the business every day obviously mm -hmm. but that's pretty much what we do i ain't gonna lie fellas like you know this is like our first time like actually like having like a convo convo because every time we see you know we see each other on the go hey what's going on you know what I'm saying dives hugs kisses you know what i'm saying shake a few <laughs> hands kiss a few babies you know the vibes but like you know you never really get to sit down and like you know really catch a like like the gritty gritty of somebody you know like you know you know they're doing their thing so it's, it's all love it's all respect you know mm -hmm. um so i guess you know seeing as how this is like our first kind of real convo you know where did you guys start off like how did how did things you know kind of like click off for y'all you know what i'm saying like you know what what hobby grew into the hustle that grew into the business you know what i mean um because obviously there's a story there's a story before this beautiful store you know what i mean so um definitely it was um me one day finally looking at sneakers on facebook and i hit up jismani real quick on facebook and i was oh, like sure. yo bro okay 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 what's up with them bread 11s though <laughs> So starting like that, we uh, I bought my first pair of sneakers off Jay. That's wild. Um, on Facebook back in like 2012, 2013. Around, That's wild. Around that area. And um, ever since that, bro, it's been history. You know, we, we went from, you know, buying one pair of shoes, waiting outside camping 13, six hours outside of a store to, you know, buying one pair, five pairs, then clipping releases at 30, 40, 50 pairs. Every release, you know. Oh damn, damn! Building, building clientele. You know, it just going into the, you know, he'll go into the nitty gritty of it. Okay, <laughs> so y'all was the ones messing up the counts when we, we when, when I finally got to we the was, register. We was messing up the the bank account. You know, that's what we was messing <laughs> oh, okay. up. Okay, all right, talk it, talk, talk it, talk, talk it, talk. Nah, but yeah, like in terms of even before the store, like it was um. We was running a platform called Gabby Kicks. Okay. And I was, I'm, I, I mean, I'll be honest. Like, I'm, I'm always a person that likes to be behind the scenes a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a little 
of a ghost, but mm -hmm. you know, I'm obviously, you know, within the brand and growing, you know, you get your face out there more and everything. I feel like it's only right, but uh, Gabby up, Kicks, when we first started, I, you know, I was helping him always push mad inventory, you know, collecting as much inventory as possible. We were using that as the platform of, you know, selling everything. Alongside of that, we had Toro moving at the same time. Mm -hmm. Toro is something that we've been moving before even La Tienda. Mm -hmm. We was doing art and fashion events, you know, pumping the brand as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on I'm so sorry. Okay, okay, no lie. You said Toro. I'm, I'm thinking T U R O. You're thinking T O R O, which is the brand T that, exactly, yeah. that y'all have, yeah, okay, which okay, we carry you, within the store bad, as well. Oh, I'm like, damn, y'all was ahead nah, of not game, Toro, not bro. Not Toro, not Toro. Jeez. Not Toro, Toro. No, 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 no. Definitely go ahead. My bad, bro. Yeah. But like, I, if if y'all peeped the last interview I had with Dutchy Dude, bad, you know what I'm saying? It's the hat that I had on. You feel me? But now nah, go ahead, bro. Nah, yeah. So Toro was pushing that for you know a long time. I remember our first investment. I think I put like. 4,000 in, he put like 4,000 in, and honestly, most of that merch we gave out for free that time. You know mm. what I mean? We just wanted to get the brand yeah, awareness no. out there. We didn't talk really care talk. about the profits. Talk you talk. You know what I'm saying? So that was kind of what was important at that moment. No, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Nah, so it literally started from you buying a pair of kicks off of bro, mm -hmm. and then it just ballooning into this. And honestly, 2012, well, I ain't trying to show my age or nothing, but like, hey, it's not, not that wild long ago. You feel me? So that's fire. You know what I'm saying? The fact that. 12 years old. Yeah. 12, 13 years old. We're only that's 22 fire. now. You're only 22 we right open, now. Both of y'all, both of y'all 22? Yeah. 22, yeah. Beautiful, we bro. Open Beautiful. About roughly like. We had this in mind at 18. We opened at like 19 years old. Nah, that's 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 beautiful. But I didn't start the museum until I was 23, man. So when I hear, you know, like, you know, um, y'all being on it so young like that, that's fire, bro. You know what I'm saying? Big respect, dog. I, I, I love it. I ain't gonna we hold you. Just a little man. bros, man. That's nah, right. nah, nah. Bros. Doing amazing. <laughs> nah, nah. Doing amazing, though. No. <laughs> I fucking love that. Nah, for real. So, um, all right. So taking a step back, cause I was just telling y'all, you know, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm out the game a little bit when it comes to the, you know, the, the, the kicks and all that, you know. But y'all are, y'all are the senseis out here. So y'all tell me, you know, like what are like, like I guess the more popular um, kicks that y'all are kind of pushing out the store right now. Like what, are, what, are, what are most people kind of coming to pick up? Um, I would definitely say right now, Dunks is the most popular thing. Dunks, okay. Um, everybody's on the Dunk wave right now. Um, other than that, we sell a lot of Jordan 1s and a lot of Yeezys. Mm. Um, a lot of Yeezys um, to a lot of kids. Um, you know, family-wise, I feel like Yeezys for everybody. Um, Jordans is for everybody as well, but we definitely for, like, you know, so you everybody matching dunks, up and, and um, stuff like and, that. And dunks and Yeezys. I also feel like, too, like, right now, Yeezy is kind of killing the game. But dunks, dunks is, is the year of the Dunks right now. Mm -hmm. Next is, I feel like, the year of Air Force. That's what's probably gonna be after dunks. Mm -hmm. But in terms of like the Yeezys, I feel like the Yeezy um, foam runners is like the new Crocs. No that, yo, honestly, so, like, I feel like Kanye really came runners. and clipped Crocs' legs literally, off, like, bro. That is the new Crocs. So no, like, I literally funny. find everybody wearing you know those. Doing. Nah, that's um. So, so I mean, taking a step back, what are y'all favorite like pair of kicks? You know, like is that a hard question to ask y'all, low key? I mean, I, I've had this question asked to me a couple times, and it's still gonna stay the same. My my, I don't have a favorite pair of kicks. I have something that's meaningful to me, and that's the Bread Eleven, like he's talking about. Mm. Because I, I did have my mom camp out for that shoe. I, I wanted it for Christmas really badly. Mom Dukes, mom camped Dukes out, camp yo. out. So shout out, mom Dukes. That's man. the most God meaningful damn. shoe. So I mean, I that's the shoe I sold to him too, and you know that's. That right there, is, you know, nah, that's that's the universe. You know, it's even crazy. You <laughs> oh, just kind of like spark. He sparked my mind in a whole nother way because wow. when I really think about it, if it wasn't for that shoe, we probably wouldn't have the exactly. relationship we have. Exactly. So you know, her camping out for me allowed him to hit me up and then buy the shoe off me, and now we connected on a deep. That level. connection literally so everything might not have been this, bro. Nah, that's that that's really reason. next level. I'm you not gonna lie, <laughs> that's really next level. I'm not gonna lie, that's that's amazing. I'm I'm like you know. I'm like huge into like reading and like spirituality and things like that, bro. So when I hear stories like that, I'm like, yo, this really ain't for nothing, man. So real salute to y'all, man, bro. No funny <laughs> shit, man. Thank you, bro. Nah, <laughs> bro. All right. So, um, do y'all feel? I was asking Gabby this earlier, but like, and you definitely gave me a great answer, bro. But like, do y'all feel like the sneaker game has become like wild saturated again? This is from somebody that's on the outside looking in. I ain't as you know, educated as I would like to be, you feel me? But like, do y'all feel like it's it's a little saturated, low key? I feel like, damn, the like can't keep up rant. with shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's definitely a little saturated right now, especially with the fact that I, I look at I look at Jay and I as a great example, you know, not to be like, you know, biased and stuff like that of like, you know, the sneaker culture, but 
you know, like we're we're real like hustlers, bro. Mm. I'm gonna be honest and talk like, it talk. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm with the hustlers. We're the talk. we're the ones who who are like really camping outside, been doing that, you know, for and like it's if a, blood. Tell me, mom, you know, is out saying? there like, getting busy, man. It, yeah, bro. that shit is real, bro. Like, for real, and and when a client like for me, example, asks me, hey, would you drive here to Austin, you know, and I'll give you twenty five on top. That's cool because it's down the street. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But now kids are there like, nah, I'd rather ship it to you. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like they don't really put that that, that work ambition. ethic mm -hmm, behind mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. that ambition really behind it. They, mm -hmm. they just see it for the money and, and I think the money, all this money that people are making is what's ruining the game a little bit. Mm, it's talk just that talk. All, all that money. You know what I'm saying? The love of money. I would say the nowhere. same thing happened with music, bro. Same you know thing what I'm saying? Same thing happens all the, with, with mm -hmm. anything that starts making bread. So... I mean, I just know the essence of like, this is before GOAT was even a thing. This is before any anything was being sold online. You know what I'm saying? Like there was like a real like culture people used to like, really like, you feel me? Like that's a, that's a great example that you just picked out because that's something that we live by every day here. Like it's all about the atmosphere we create in this building. Like talk we don't talk. care if we sell sneakers. We don't care if we sell a shirt. Like obviously you gotta sell things to you know live and you know keep the business going. But mm -hmm. in terms of people coming in, we just want people to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? We just want them to enjoy the atmosphere and you know kick back. You know what I'm saying? Just give back to the community as much as possible. So give back to yo. That like rolls right into my next question. Um, I always like love to, cause one of my biggest things with doing the series is really showing the culture that you know I've you know cultivated and you know um, we've been building. Um, who's really out here like for us? You know what I'm saying? What stores is really like from us for us by us? You know what I'm saying? Like we need all that. You know what I mean? Like and people need to know who to go honestly spend their dollars with, so they know you know it's in the right place. Mm -hmm. Um, so you mentioned community work. What are some of the things that y'all, you know, do to connect with the creative community here in Boston and Massachusetts as a whole? I mean, I know y'all do mad stuff. So obviously just we tell do, you. we do a lot. Like we're always open arms with everybody that comes in. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's down to a local brand who wants to, you know, put their, their, their stuff out here, we do pop-ups, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Meet and greets for all mm. different people, even down to just, you know, gathering up 50 pairs of sneakers that we may not need right now that are just sitting in the basement and giving them out to the community for free mm. you know what i'm saying even down to school drives where we're giving out pencils you know like notebooks mm -hmm. backpacks and mm -hmm. all that for the kids that in need you know what i mean we have a you know even down to the basketball groups that we created you know we had our uh logo actually on the basketball team from malden you know that's what fine. I'm so that's like fine. We, we have a lot of things in the future that we have in our mind like you know, they, they used to do community events here in, in Malden, the way they used to shut down the parks and do like, you know, slides mm -hmm. and, you know, food, free food and everything mm -hmm. for the kids. So that's kind of like what we want to bring back to the city in, in, in terms of that, you know, in any way we can give back, you know. I know y'all just got the van too. So that's definitely going to be a major tool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know y'all pulled up to the Suave Life tournament. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Pulled up to the Suave Life tournament yeah, and um, like, shout out my man Suave, like, shout out her. Yeah. You already know the vibes. Um, but I know y'all was out there and y'all are able to really like give like a so like a street team presence, you know, like like no funny shit. It, it gave me like that's, a street team that's presence. That comes down to that hustle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Hustle because Man. not everybody gonna go pull up over there. No, nah, that's a fact. Right that's a fact. That. Right on the court. A, right on the court. You know? you know what I'm saying? Nah, it was it was it was definitely dope to see. Um, so we're looking to do more community events. Maybe some stuff we'll see in 2022, maybe 2023. Okay. All right. Say less. Say less. Say less. Say less. My guys, man. Yo, bro, these are some good guys here, man. I need y'all to come pull up, man. You know what I'm saying? Real family oriented. You know I'm a sucker for the fan vibes. You know what I mean? Bosses need love too. Respect your inches. You know that. Ah, oh, that's what I do, right? That's what I do. By the way, man, yo, be on the lookout for my collab with my homegirl, Janaya, man. You know what I'm saying? The Museum TV is going to be doing collabs with, you know, um... Uh, uh, graphic designers from the area, you know what I'm saying? We're bringing it together, you know what I'm saying? Awesome Kith and Supreme shit. That's just what we're trying to do, you know what I'm saying, for us. Um, but damn, fellas, um, I really want to get into, you know, the stores. Um, how long has the store been open, by the way? It's going to be two years. Almost two years. Almost two November years, right? 1st. November 1st will be two years. All right, right, so that's more than 500 days. I know y'all got a memorable memory to hold us down with. And um, I'm asking, you know, what's been a memorable memory, you know what I'm saying, within, within the last mm -hmm. two years for you? And then, um, honestly, if y'all could, definitely let us know something that y'all hated dealing with. It's a tough one, bro. Every single day is an, a new memory in the story. Yeah. <laughs> That's every, boss talk right there. Every That's single day, right there. There's, there's something new happening. There's something crazy happening in the shop. Like, th there's been some crazy shit that's happened here. Mm -hmm. So, 
it's really hard to justify exactly this the craziest day but um i would say the the day we learned the most was probably one of the days that we got um was the day we got looted was probably for me one of the days that we learned most is that mm. you know like you really have to protect your investment and was, um, was this during covid or not during covid yeah. the george floyd yeah. protest oh so they broke in here yeah they broke the they got hit? yeah oh. they, we got hit um luckily it was for just of our clothes you know yeah. it was like about like ten thousand dollars worth of clothes yeah. at the time um but genuinely like that would feel like for me that was one of the most learning curves to protect our investment to the fullest um also i wasn't even sad about the clothes it was more about the time lost yeah. So that's even a bigger reason why to protect your investment to save more time in the future and everything like that. Um, wow. No, I, I, like when when that was happening and, you know, obviously, you know, we're trying to protect our culture and things like that, yep. bro. We want people to, you know, be m above, you know what I'm saying, the pettiness, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and, and understand, you know, the, the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. So, like, granted, we might be mad at what's going on on a mm -hmm. national stance. You know, yes. we still got to protect this little nest egg that we got going mm -hmm. on here. At the end of the day, I feel like it was just um, a couple of haters who used a you know, sensitive topic for malicious intent at the end of the day. No, nah, 100%. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, that's corny as hell. Because I know my people over, over at um, Derillis, you know what I'm saying, on, on .app got hit. And that definitely hurt me crazy. Exactly. Like, you. But Jay definitely got something crazy. No, no, no. Nah, nah, talk your shit, Jay. <laughs> day you fall, you get back up. You know, simple as that. I mean, I feel like that. Everything like you, you know, spirituality, even not down to everything we talk, everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that was supposed to happen. You know, that showed us how much love we had in the city, you know, how much community, like, love we was really getting out there. People were really reaching out to us, even donating. People did a GoFundMe for in, in the city for us. So I feel like that that gave us a lot of drive to show us that, like, hey, we're doing something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We're making moves. Like, we're... We're actually like sparking people, like you know what I'm saying, and like giving back and and touching people in a different way. So mm -hmm. I feel like that that only made us made to drive more, you know. And by the time that made us get the gate out front, so mm -hmm. you know, like now we can sleep peace of peacefully at night, not having to worry about anything realistically happening. Wow, so bro. I mean, all the, all this stuff happens for a reason. But now now because we're really protected now, all the you know the precautions we took and the love that we were able to receive, we're able to really you know, move forward and, and prosper on another level. You know what I'm saying? We're able to, you know, get a lot more inventory and feel more comfortable with it being in here. So everything happens for a reason, man. Yo, I like these guys, man. You know what I'm saying? These are my dudes right here, man. I, I like these guys, man, for real, bro. The story is great, yo. Um, I guess, uh, you know, y'all y'all have honestly done an amazing job with this last question, but, like, what do y'all hope for people to get out of y'all's story? You know what I mean? Y'all only 22, bro. You feel me? Like... Hope to get out of it. Yeah, like, 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 what gem? What, like, 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 damn, like, yo, because I seen Jay doing his thing. You know, what I'm saying you that this, makes man. me want to go do this. I seen Gabby doing his thing. That makes me want. You feel me? I tell you this: the the more lives you touch, the more your life will be touched. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the more you keep giving, the more you'll start receiving. Talk you your talk, bro. Saying? So it's like every day give to give as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? You don't know if it's gonna be your last day. Mm. You know what I saying? always say, so, you know, well, you never know. Um, you never know, you never know reaping season, but you always know sowing season. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You can keep sowing and sowing and sowing, but the universe gonna let you know when you're gonna reap those benefits, those right? All right, man. Yo, damn, dog. Yo, I, I, I rock with my guys, man. I rock with my guys for real. Um, so I want to get into the last segment here. It's called "I Put That Shit on Dead Dogs." You know what I'm saying? Shout out my man Body Rock. You know what I'm saying? You definitely got this going for us, crazy bro. I appreciate you. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I put but that, nah, shit, I put on that shit on dead dogs. dogs, bro. The segment is it really is it's centered around what's like the most outlandish, the most like, you know, something that somebody wouldn't know about you. You know what I'm saying? Just looking at you like, word, really? You bro? Word? You feel me? Like, what would what would be something like that for the both of y'all? I mean, I put on dead dogs. <laughs> I love to read all the time. Oh, you be and reading love, all the time? I love, okay. I love personal development. Personal development books? Yeah. Okay, no, okay. Just personal development in general. This period. Like reading and developing yourself mm. all lands in personal development. Mm, that's a you fact. You know what I'm saying? And the more you take care of yourself, the more you're able to take care of others. Top three books. Top three books. Think and Grow Rich. Talk to talk. Napoleon. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Kiyosaki. Kiyos no, 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 no. I'm gonna give you those two. I feel like those two are strong. I'm gonna give you four books. Talk your talk. The Alchemist is a, like a smaller read. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, it's a classic. Visual, That's a classic. More visual. And then 
then I had another one that was in my. I have so many. Books, I'm three for three right I mean, now, dog. So we're like, like right here, bro. I, the last one I had, it was good in line, but I mean, four key agreements teach you how to find heaven on earth. I the think it, the, the richer man of Babylon. Richest man of Babylon. I think you yep, need yep, to yep. watch. You re need to read emotional intelligence because if you don't have emotional intelligence, people don't know how to control their emotions. Yeah, you know so you're just saying? gonna go all willy nilly all and all so that. There's, there's a lot of different books that you know. I feel like those right there will put you on a great path just to start you off because that's <laughs> money management, spirituality, Woo! learning how to run a business, learning how to deal with emotions, and how to find heaven on earth. So if you have all those five in line, I feel like you're on a great path. Man, talk your talk, man. My man Jay, man. Yo, 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 Gabby, man. Damn, that, that, that that's that's tough to go after, bro. Can you, can you double check on the that's my bro. We do everything together, so that's there amazing. You know, I read all those books. That's amazing. <laughs> nah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm definitely familiar a little bit with all those titles, mm -hmm. but those are those are great foundational joints, man. Like for real, man. That's that's fire. Path, you know it's no saying? funny. Obviously, from there, it's gonna stem onto more elite stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's something that can help. Somebody nah, those are all foundational books for me, man. For real, for real, bro. Respect. Nah. I mean, damn, no, nah, I'm sorry, guy. We could keep cutting you off, bro, dog. Nah, nah. This is like, yo, bro, I, I love the convo, bro. Go ahead. Stay here all night. <laughs> um, I would say on the dog, but I, I love yeah, the, I'll put that I shit have on a lot of dead dog. passions. Like, you know how they say jack of all trades? Yeah. I like I like to master like a lot of different crafts. So like cooking is definitely puts me at ease. Okay, we cook you know, a little bit. Like, you know, you know, Chef Gabicito in the building. Mao here, con Conaso TV. TV, pull uh, up. You know what I mean. Um, yo, have y'all ever art. had like a a, a shoe tying competition? Shoe tying competition. Yeah, yeah, like the you're the fastest, bro. <laughs> yo, lace it up the kicks. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that. But nah, um, okay. So cooking, bro. Um, we have like a favorite dish you like to put up. Um. I'll definitely. That's that's definitely number one that's on the every Sunday morning. <laughs> He's like he had it a couple of times. <laughs> every that's Sunday fire. morning, but I, I make honestly anything that I make is killer. Mm. I would say because I definitely put the time into learning exactly what it is. Mm. Um, as you can see here, you know we're nah, shots in nah, the building, yeah. so you're doing your thing, you man. You're saying you're putting your foot in it for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, my dog. <laughs> Now, nah, man, I got Gabby and Jay here with me, man. This is La Tiendas, you know what I'm saying? Head honchos right here. We have 45 Lebanon um, Street in Malden, Massachusetts, man. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all guys, actually, I need y'all to let them know where, you know what I'm saying, they can keep up with y'all, you know what I'm saying, one more time. You feel me? Check up on us at, on Instagram, La Tienda Shop, uh, on Twitter, La Tienda Shop. Um, you can f add us on Snapchat too, the same thing. YouTube, our website is in the link of our Instagram bio. Mm. And you can also follow us in the link Instagram bio as well. We're also, we're also sponsored by a company called Topo Chico. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? They always lace us up with all the best drinks. Topo and, you know, Chico. it's actually it's a mineral water. We this comes out with a bunch of different flavors. They just released a new model too. I, I actually don't have the new model to show you, but Topo Chico, you already know what's up. Hey, man, they're doing a great job for y'all, apparently, man. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> nah, man, look, man, yo, this is the Museum TV, man. We are Boston's premiere vlog. Once again, make sure y'all leaving a like on this video, man. Dropping a comment down below if you have any other questions for Jay and Gabby, you know what I'm saying? They'll definitely reach back out. They're community men, you know what I'm saying? Um, once again, I said they have 45 Lebanon Street in Malden, Massachusetts. Definitely pull up. The store is very welcoming, you know what I'm saying? Every time I've been here, it's been a vibe, you know what I'm saying? So come catch this vibe yourself, you know what I'm saying? Look, um, y'all know I do the tent and once again, you know what I'm saying, the embroidery work is there for you as well. You know what I mean? We we taking care of ourselves, we taking care of others, you know what I'm saying? It's really a community thing on this end too. This is why we come in here and delivering these stories for you. So you know who to be out here rocking with, man, what stories to be out here keeping up on, man. Cause honestly, these dudes are doing amazing things right now. That's a fact. Look. Mi casa su casa. You know what I mean? It's, it's it's written right outside the um um the, the doors here too, you know what I mean? Look. <laughs> Make sure y'all know that you don't need perfection for progress, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you, you you go after that progress before you, you know what I'm saying, looking around for perfection. You know what I'm saying? Don't waste no time, man. Really get to it, man. My boy's right here. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful example of that, man. Look, Snowball, the Museum TV, man, we'll definitely keep up with y'all. Well, we'll catch y'all next time with another dope story. You know what I mean? Look, bang, 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 bang. It's Noble, creator of the Museum TV, and I just wanted to thank you for tuning into Boston's premiere vlog. If you liked this video, please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I'll leave a few other videos around here for you, just so you can see how we're exhibiting the culture stories.